Uh, welcome to uh, General Chemistry Lab, General Chemistry 1 Lab. And this is going to be your lab uh, for the semester. And we'll form a group of two, all right, uh, each time we perform an experiment. This morning, we are going to begin with uh, safety policies, OK? And I'm going to give you two copies of these safety policies. So as I'm passing these out, uh, make sure that you grab two copies. There's a reason why you're going to grab two. We are going to sign one, and we are going to uh, keep one as our record, OK? Uh, and as we are discussing, we'll discuss uh, safety policies. We will discuss evacuation plan. And I will show you certain safety features that are present uh, in this lab, all right? So as soon as everybody gets a copy, uh, we will uh, discuss these, and then we will sign th these copies, and you will turn one in to me. All right, did everybody get one? Okay, let's begin with the safety contract. Uh, number one, extras, thank you. thank you. Number one on the safety contract. Number one on the safety contract. Consumption of food or beverages of any kind, including uh, chewing gum and candy, is prohibited. OK? Uh, so if you have anything on you, all right, uh, it should be left outside the lab. OK? Uh, no food or drink allowed. OK? That's an OSHA regulation and OSHA policy. All right? Uh, so no food or beverages in this lab. All right? That's number one. Since we'll be using acids, bases, and flammable liquids, all right? and hot liquids uh, at times. Uh, open toes or shoes uh, must not be worn uh, in this lab, all right? Your toes should be covered, so wear sneakers or shoes uh, during the lab, okay? That's number two. Rule number three, no shorts, uh, belly shirts, or short skirts, uh, your entire torso should be covered. Uh, once again, uh, that's an OSHA regulation. And we are using acids bases. We are using hot liquids. Uh, and we are using flammable liquids All right, uh, in this lab. So no shorts, uh, short skirts, or belly shirts. Uh, entire torso should be covered. Uh, that's rule number three. Cell phone, we should shut off when we are doing uh, our labs, okay? Lab computers that are over here in front of you, uh, they are to be used only for lab assignments, all right? And I have net off from here. I can observe what you're doing on your computer, all right? And I can even shut you off, okay, from here, right, from this computer. Uh, so don't do anything else but your lab assignments, all right? Um, eye protection must be worn at all times, number six. There are two types of eye protections we have, all right? And these are OSHA approved, okay? People who are wearing prescription glasses have no choice but to wear them, all right? And these should be worn over your eyes at all times, not like this, or not protecting your chin, okay? Uh, same goes with this. Now, people who are not wearing any glasses have a choice. They can wear either of these. Once again, these should be worn over your eyes at all times, not making a fashion statement like this, all right? Or not protecting your chin like this, all right? I have seen students doing this. If you want to protect your chin or your head, bring your motorcycle helmet with you, okay? Uh, but this should be worn at all times over your eyes when you're performing experiment, 
all right? Uh, if you bring your own, you are allowed to bring your own, but make sure that they have side shield and the top shield and they are OSHA approved, okay? Uh, these are disinfected. We will provide these to you. These are disinfected and we store them over here. We have a UV lamp, okay? And you may come and grab one from here, okay? Uh, if they are smudged for any reason, you can take paper towels from here or from the dispenser over there. Uh, you can wet the paper towel and you can wipe them clean, all right? So that is number six. One strike and you are out, all right? These should be over your eyes at all times. I will not come and ask you why, why you're not wearing your safety goggles. I'll just ask you to leave and you get a zero for your experiment for that particular day, all right? That's number six, eye protection. At the end of the lab, you should clean your area, all right? Area, that means uh, currently you're seeing the tabletop, it's cleaned for you, all right? Uh, so it should be clean. We have a blue sponge over there. Do you see that blue sponge? All right, make sure that you grab that blue sponge and just wipe the tabletop at the end of the day. All the supplies are kept over here, all right? For example, you're seeing some styrofoam cups over here. You will see cer certain chemicals. Hazardous chemicals are stored under the hood, as you're seeing right now, HCL and uh, acetic acid, citric acid is under the fume hoods, all right? Uh, whatever you have taken, please return it to the area, all right? Uh, so that is number seven. Number eight, all waste must be disposed of in proper containers. Uh, as we proceed in the semester, you'll find this is our satellite hazardous waste accumulation area. And here we store our waste, all right? And bottles will be kept here with the funnel on the top, all right? Make sure that you do not discard hazardous waste down the drain, okay? Uh, this is the place. If you forget or uh, if you don't know how to dispose of, ask me, all right? And I will give you directions on how to dispose them off. You are expected to attend only the assigned lab section. We have only 20 spaces here, okay? Uh, we cannot have a 20, 21st student or 22nd student coming in, all right? So attend only the lab sections that you are assigned. That is number, ten, number nine. Number 10, know all your exits. This is the only exit that we have, okay? In case of an emergency, this uh, alarm will ring all right, might cause you temporary uh, hearing impairment for a while, for the next four hours, I guess. Uh, we get out of this exit, all right? Never use these doors over here or that window, all right? That window is sealed shut, so don't even try to open it. These doors lead you back into the building. This is the only door that will lead you out. Uh, go out, stay out until uh, Manchester Fire Department uh, tells you to come in. Now, as you are leaving, Make sure if you are in the middle of the experiment, you pull the plug, all right, on, uh, on your heater, uh, on anything that you have plugged in, all right? And only carry your valuables, all right? Your leather coat, your wallet, your purse, all right? Don't come back for a notebook or don't come back for a textbook and so on, okay? Uh, your iPhone and so on, those are valuables. Only carry your valuables with you. If you're in the middle of the experiment, don't go home from the parking lot, all right? You will have to come back and finish your experiment and then go home. Number 11, do not inhale or taste any chemicals, all right? Do not inhale or taste any chemicals. Any accident spills, burns, or cuts should be brought to my notice so that we can treat you if it is something minor we can treat you with the first aid box over there. If it is something major, we'll call our campus police and they will take over from there, okay? Uh, but bring it to my notice uh, so that we can attend to that. That is number 12. Number 13, long hair should be tied back, all right? Once again, we'll be lighting Bunsen burners. We'll be using these heaters and so on. Uh, if you start having a warm, fuzzy feeling over here, that means your hair is on fire. Okay, uh, so make sure that you tie your long hair back 
okay and bring your own rubber bands and ponytail holders and so on I don't have any extras over here if you are wearing a hat make sure the hat is turned around all right uh, otherwise your rim uh, uh, will catch uh, fire uh, when uh, you are performing experiment number 14 all loose clothing should be tucked in all right once again the same idea if you have a long coat and you turn around and you have a Bunsen burner here you are going to topple it all right and uh, everything will catch fire okay so make sure uh, you are following that number 15 uh, broken glass uh, at times you will break some glassware and when you break your glassware you will come over here and grab this duster and dusting pan all right and you will collect the broken glass using this okay not with your bare hands and cut yourself so that now you have a emergency all right don't create an emergency use this and where do we discard this broken glass in the broken glass bucket all right over here there's a wh white broken glass bucket that's where you will discard the broken glass you will never discard the broken glass in the regular trash all right this is to keep us safe the housekeeping staff safe all right so if a cell phone falls in the regular trash and you have broken glass in it and you cut yourself the next 10 days you will spend in the hospital getting tested for HIV and everything okay you don't want that okay you don't want to waste your time in a hospital just because you dropped your cell phone in there and somebody else had broken glass in there okay so make sure that you follow that uh, and that is number 15 all right broken glass in the broken glass bucket number 16 at the end of uh, each lab you are going to clean your glassware with regular tap water now where is your glassware just pull the two drawers in front of you do you see test tubes do you see conical flasks do you see uh, test tube stand do you see beakers and so on measuring cylinders all right you will use all those okay and uh, currently uh, they are all very well organized by Dan all right but we are basically hunters and gatherers correct by the end of the semester or as the semester progresses somebody who loves a lot of test tubes will have all test tubes here okay somebody who loves beakers might have all the beakers collected over here all right all the conical flasks over here and so on uh, you don't own these lockers all right these are for everybody to use so if you do not find a 50 milliliter beaker in your drawers please go around and look for one all right and if you have extras just give them all right don't say this is mine this is mine okay that's like five year old all right that's how they play this is my toy this is my toy don't do that okay so uh, clean all that glassware at the end with regular tap water the only faucet that we have is over there okay this is the faucet that we have and the faucet has a red hose all right this is the one you are going to use to clean your glassware all right this one is deionized water and it is marked deionized water please do not use this faucet okay we want to keep our tuition low okay six thousand dollars per year okay uh, if you start using the deionized water your fees might go up okay because the filter costs two hundred dollars all right so use that these in front of you are not faucets all right so do not even use these all right they will spray water on you and you will have a free shower okay I don't know why these are here but do not use these right that's the only faucet and the sink that we have we talked about number 17 at the end of the experiment clean the tabletop with sponge number 18 always wash your hands before leaving the lab we have a hand washing soap over there all right because from here you are going to go to Wendy's all right and now for your convenience they have opened uh, McDonald's and all that stuff while you go home and you might eat your sandwich with chemical laced hands all right you don't want to do that so wash your hands before you leave uh, so that you can enjoy your sandwich uh, at the end of the lab uh, you are expected to comply by these rules by next week okay and if you do not comply by the, any of these rules 
you will be asked to leave and a grade of zero will be posted. All right. Any questions on any of these safety rules? Any questions? If there are no questions, then you are going to sign this. That means you are going to scribble this on this. All right. I won't know who has signed it. So at the at the end of the signature, please print your name. All right. Put today's date. What is today's date? 31st. Put my name. And then put our CRN number. What's our CRN number? Okay. I hope you remem remember your social security number. And then turn in the copy to me. One copy, all right? One copy stays with you. And one copy. Please pass it this way so that I can collect it here. And please pass the other one over here on this side. Now, as you are doing this, I will show you a few things, a uh, few safety features that are present in the lab. All right? The first safety feature is the fume hoods. Anything that generates fumes, you will have to perform under these fume hoods. All right? And this thing is called shash, and this shash can slide up and down. All right? When you slide it down, there is a fan that takes the fumes from here and throws it uh, up on the roof, all right? The second safety feature is the emergency blanket over here, okay? And there is spill absorbent. So if something spills on the f floor, we will put this on and we will collect it with the duster and the dusting pan and dispose it off appropriately, all right? Emergency blanket and spill absorbent. We have a safety shower here, okay? So in case of an em emergency, we will use it. Do not play pranks with this because this will give out gallons and gallons of water. It will be a swimming pool over here and you will end up cleaning it for next three hours. Eye wash station is over here, okay? Uh, we have a gas cutoff on the wall over there. So if there is any fire, we can just shut it off from there, all right? Uh, oven, all right? We will use it uh, when needed. We have two fire extinguishers that are present, all right? These are called the A, B, and C fire extinguishers and can be used. In case of an emergency, and as you can see, in case of emergency, we will scream. <laughs> I'm going to show you this fire extinguisher that is present. <laughs> And how to use this? These are uh, maintained every quarterly. Somebody comes and checks it, and there is a label. You will break the seal, all right? You will hold this, and you will aim it at the base of the fire uh, in case of a fire, all right? We need to press this, OK? And it will give out, uh, you might have seen this used in films and so on. It, it gives out a sort of a noise uh, when you use this, all right? So two fire extinguishers at two corners of this lab. Uh, as I said, we have a first aid box over here. In case of an emergency, we will use this, okay? Uh, we have hand washing soap. Uh, and those are some of the safety features uh, of this lab, okay? Any questions so far for me? If there are no questions, then we are done with the safety contract, all right?